I'm Alex, is one of the few YouTubers who genuinely disgust me to look at. Look at this creature, he is the definition of a mong. I could honestly see his face being next to the definition of mong in the dictionary. He just oozes mong. <laughs> so if you can get past his ugly mug, what should you expect from I'm Alex? I'm Alex is your generic bullshit commentary channel. He makes the same videos on the same topics as every other commentary channel, regurgitating the same shit, adding absolutely nothing new. Alex has as much creativity as he does happiness in his life. I mean, shit, he is one sorry looking son of a bitch who crawls out of his cage to make one YouTube video every day. Are they good YouTube videos? No, they're absolute wank. But that's just my opinion. If you like watching a depressed fuck try and be funny for 10 minutes, be my guest. Before you do, let me show you a time where he really tried to be funny. I cyber made a huge mistake. Here's a 50 second video where I talk about the fact that I can't really say anything, but I came on here to say anything anyway. Also, likes and comments, uh, I'll be reading comments and, and all of that, but the likes and dislikes, I'm gonna disable those. I mean, as fucking horrible as that was, I gotta say, at least he looked a little bit more upbeat. Good for you, man. Similar to Wild Spartans, Alex stretches his content to 10 minutes for some sweet, sweet mid-rolls. If he was truly that desperate for rolls, he could have just asked Wild Spartans to take his top off. However, sweet, innocent, young Alex did not always care about the ad revenue in the mid-rolls. Oh, no, no. Back in the day, he said this. Multiple ways to get paid on this site have been manipulated and wholeheartedly abused. I have a problem with channels that literally sacrificed their quality purely for YouTube ad revenue. I have a feeling younger Alex would not be proud of the shit stretched out content you're producing today. However, I must admit, I got a raging boner when I found out you and Spartans combined forces to push your Quebble Cop video over 10 minutes. You sat there and explained all these points to your viewers. He uh, made a video and he stuck a bunch of mid-roll ads on about his dad dying and I was like, okay, this is a bit fucking weird. And I went down to the description and realised he was donating the money to charity. Now I can't tell if the other four fucking videos are also going to charity. He made five videos on the fact that his dad's dead. How do you cope with something like this happening? I would suggest not in the public eye with mid-roll ads on. And then you decide, as a sympathetic way to give your mate who makes equally as shit content as you some subs, he would um, have a little input in your video, which you call a interesting, interesting take or some shit. Now I want to pass this over to Wild Spartans who had some thoughts on the situation that I thought were kind of interesting. You see, Cuomo Cop has made four videos about his father's death, and honestly, he probably has nothing wrong with it. He probably thinks it's perfectly okay. Now, to be fair, he has claimed one of these videos was for charity. Uh, I don't know about the rest, but there's three others. So, I mean, putting mid-rolls on a video about your dead father isn't the kindest thing to do. Oh, Spartans, that was some great insight there, you fat fuck. <sighs> Didn't hear that five minutes ago. Two shit commentary channels become one. My work here is almost done. Hey, Alex, I'm curious. What's your opinion on exposed videos? Exposed videos always go well. There's never any problems with them, and they're always 110% well-researched. Just not the case. Just isn't the case, ever. And it always, normally, goes horrifically wrong. Unless Alex makes an exposed video. When Alex exposes someone, he publicly spreads false information about them being a sociopath and destroys their career. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm Alex, outed his best friend Zapti in a podcast for being a sociopath. Ed told me uh, uh, about four or five days ago now that he was a diagnosed sociopath. But Alex, why bring any information forward to the public that hasn't already been brought forward already? I mean, you said it yourself. You hate that shit. So the guy has gone out of his way to publicise information that nobody bloody knew about wasn't public at all. Now for me, if it's not public at all, it does not get said unless it turns out that somebody's been touching kids or committing a genuine crime. Well, your best friend wasn't touching kids. He wasn't committing a genuine crime because the other points to expose them for were cheating on his girlfriend. Since the beginning, she was being cheated on with four 
other girls. And his best friend wasn't even a sociopath. He stayed on Twitter that Alex twisted his words and he is not diagnosed as a sociopath. So like I said earlier, the other reason Alex outed his best mate was mainly because he was a sociopath, but also because he cheated on his girlfriend. But Alex, if the information is not public already and it's not a crime, he's not touching kids, then why should you just spread that information to the public? She was being cheated on with four other girls. Why would you get involved in someone else's relationship and spread someone else's diagnosis first before that actual person has told the world? Especially when it's not true. Yeah, some, some people could consider that slander. At what point does it go from being an exposed video to just slander? Now I think when you have absolutely no bloody proof and you make a video which is totally wrong. I think that's when it becomes genuine slander. Well Alex, you honestly had no proof your best friend was a sociopath because he wasn't one, you goblin. Yet you still throw him under the bus for being a sociopath so you yourself would admit you were slandering. Now look, before anyone gets it twisted, I know Zaptai did some fucked up shit and I'm not defending his actions that came after the podcast that people realised happened, but I'm talking about what Alex made that video based on, the information it was based on, and how that shows him as a character. And it really does show Alex's characteristics that he will say one thing and then he just does another. One rule for Alex, another rule for the world. Brilliant. What's rich as well is that after this uh, video dropped exposing his best friend, he tweeted out, If you make a video on Ed, consider yourself done completely on this website. Coming from a commentator who couldn't wait to jump on Quebecop's dad's death to make some extra revenue. Consider yourself done on this website. What are you gonna do, you skinny rat? I mean, if you do try come for me, I'll get my little sister to knock you out. It just shows even more that there's one rule for Alex, another rule for everyone else. If the shoe was on the other foot and Zaptai wasn't even Alex's friend, I guarantee you he would have been straight on that making a video about it. Alex thinks he's the top dog and he can end people as quickly as he ended his best mate Zapti. I really don't know who he thinks he is sometimes, especially when he said this shit in the Quebecop video. Next time your dad dies, which won't ever happen, you know, you got one chance to do this and you fucked it massively. If anything like this happens again, don't monetize it. Don't. You dare post it to YouTube and don't post it five times or so to the second channel and clickbait. And then at the start of a video, he says this. Fine, make videos about it. I probably would too. Don't. You dare post it to YouTube. But Alex, I thought you said don't post it on YouTube. And then you just said at the start of a video, if my dad died, I'd probably post it on YouTube too. Do you realise what you say in your videos or does shit just spew out of that putrid mouth of yours? Alex, you're not the big dog. You're just a fucking goblin a sheep, and you won't be a leader because you're a sheep like everyone else. I'd like to end this video with a statement that I agree on that Alex said. I'm an untalented, small commentary channel who thrives with what other people do, and I'm very uncreative. That is it for today's video. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. All the support recently has been, oh my God, it's been too much. Like we hit 15K, holy fuck. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, Fuck off.